Before I get to our story, I just wanted to share with all of you adults um, what's up on the board is something that relates to what we call hands-on church. And we have this here twice a month for the kids ages 4 to about 12 to 13 years old, and it's a very unique program. It's not children's church, and it's not vacation Bible school. It's a very special, quiet, worshipful experience. And it has a format similar to what our format is here in the sanctuary. So I just wanted to point that out to you in case you've wondered what the kids do during Hands on Church. There's a greeter that greets the children outside of the door, and the door is closed, and uh, the storyteller is inside, and we ask the kids, are you ready to come into Hands on Church? And they have to decide, one second, if they're ready. So if they're wiggling, if they need a restroom break, quick drink of water, they need to do all that before they come into our church time. Because somebody might be listening to God speaking to them, and we need to be very quiet. So they come in after they're greeted, and then there's a call to worship, where we sit in a circle, and we decide if we're going to get ready by speaking quietly, walking slowly, and we sit down in our circle. And then there's a song of praise, which we'll do here in a minute, and we usually start the same song every time, so they kind of know what to expect. And then there's the presentation, which I'll give in a minute. At the end of every story, there's always the same set of wondering questions. And they're not questions you hear in Sabbath school, like how many days of how many days did it take for creation or who built the ark? It's more of an open-ended question, like, I wonder where this place might be. I wonder what part of this story you liked, or I wonder if this is a real place, things like that. Then at the end, we have time called work, where the kids get to take the stories and they get to reenact them if they want, or they can draw a picture if the Holy Spirit is speaking to them and they want to express through art or a craft. So it's not like Sabbath school in the way that you would do a story that matches the a craft that matches the story. It's more reflective art. And then we have what we call feast, which is just some crackers and water where we get to hear about all the week's activities and how maybe God led them or God helped them while they were playing at school or doing their homework. And then we have a special goodbye blessing before they leave so that they know that they were blessed by the leader that was reading the story, just as Pastor Rick might give a closing benediction. So at this time, the kids and I are going to do a little bit of our hands-on church program, and I, I hope you all will enjoy it. If you're interested in learning more about the program, I'd love to have you stop by. Up on the screen, you'll see some pictures. The figures are purposely um, without faces, so the kids can see what they might imagine that Jesus and the disciples would look like. And they're very sim simply um, put together. And then there might be some pictures up of how our room is set up. It has a specific purpose to it. There's Old Testament stories on one side and New Testament stories on another. So we start with creation, and then we have the stories along the wall. And in the middle of the shelves, we have an area that is our communion table that we talk about at certain times of the year. Thank you very much.